Hey, it's Mr. G. I'm here with a tutorial on why Paint.net has layers. Just like ogres have layers, just like onions have layers, Paint.net has layers. Layers are a magical thing, a magical, magical thing that allow you to make changes to a painting or a drawing or an image or a, a poster without having to mess up everything you've already done. So I'm going to just do an example here. Right now, I'm going to go onto the interwebs and find a picture of uh, Shrek, because ogres have layers. So I'm going to go to images. Ah, there is a great picture of Shrek. So I'm going to click on this picture of Shrek, and I'm going to copy the image. I'm going to right click and copy image. Now I'm going to hit Alt Tab to switch back. This is a kind of a cool shortcut for those of you that like shortcut keys. And I'm going to paste it, Control V. And it's going to ask me, do you want to expand your canvas or keep your canvas size? Now, if I say keep canvas size, what it will do is it will fit it in this area. Oops. It's fill, it's a, so that picture was ginormous. So you can see that uh, it's like just his hand. That's actually really cool looking. Okay, I'm going to undo that. Undo, 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 undo. I'm going to paste it again. Control V, paste. I didn't have to copy it again. And I'm going to say expand canvas. And what that does is it makes it fit on the canvas. Now, if you look at the bottom, it says the size. It's a uh, 3600 by 3210. That's a very big picture. I'm going to I'm going to just resize it by going to image resize. I want to make it a, a reasonable size for use in our classroom. So I'm going to make this 800 and it automatically changes the sizes. But back to this thing called layers. This is your layers window. OK, and it shows right now it says background and it shows a picture of Shrek. Well, up here, you can turn the layers on and off. So if you don't see your layer window, click this little button. It's next to the color wheel, and that turns the color wheel on and off, the layers on and off, and the tools on and off. OK, so I've got my layers. I want to make a new layer. So there's a little green plus sign here at the bottom of our layer window. I'm going to click that. That makes a new layer, layer 2. I'm going to name it. I'm going to double click on it, and I'm going to type text. In fact, I'm going to double click on this layer, and I'm going to call it Shrek just so that I know what that layer is. I can turn a layer on and off. I could turn that layer off, and you see the checkerboard. The checkerboard is like the blank space underneath. I'm going to turn that back on. I'm going to click on my text layer, and I'm going to click on the text tool, which is the letter T. I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to type, uh, what should I type, guys? What do you think? Shrek is love. OK, all right, Shrek is love. Shrek is love. All right, and then I'm going to make that way bigger. And there's a little handle you get with your text. It's this little arrowy thing. So I can grab it, but that's way too small. So I'm going to go like 108 here. Here we go. Now we're talking. Shrek is, it's almost a little too big. Let's, I'm going to type in a number. I'm going to type in 100. Let's see if that fits. It does. Shrek is love. OK, so now I have text. And it's on its own layer. Now watch what happens. I'm going to hit Enter because you see this, this cursor is blinking. When I hit Enter, it kind of locks in that, or hit Escape maybe. That locks in that change. So now it's on its own layer. I can turn that layer off. I can turn it back on. I can make it see through. Watch this. If I double click on the layer, I get Layer Options. So I can actually make this transparent like that which is a really cool feature. I can actually do that with Shrek's layer too. I'll show you. I'll, turn, I'll go to Shrek's layer and I will make him sort of see through. Now, it's a little weird because it makes the whole background see through too. So I'm going to leave him solid for right now. But there is a simple way to start making a meme. You, you uh, add text and then you can move it. How do I move the text? That's the last thing I'm going to show you. You click on the blue arrow. The blue arrow lets you move the entire layer. So now I can change this. I can even grab the corners and I can shrink it down if I want. Shrink the Shrek. Shrek is love. And I might choose a different font color or whatever. I, I might have to create a new layer. To delete a layer, you just go over to your, oh, my layer menu just got so I can't grab it because there's a window there. Got to move my face. OK, to delete a layer, you click on the red X. So whichever layer is highlighted, you click the red X, it will delete the layer. All right, that's the basics of layers. Are there any questions about layers that I can answer for people that might have questions about layers? I hear no questions. Yeah, it's pretty simple. All right, so there you go, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is Mr. Giles with a tutorial on Paint.net and layers. Ogres have layers, onions have layers, and Paint.net has layers. Now you have layers. Bye. Talk to you later.